you should see this and hear this. Mm, the whole of Braj is preparing for Diwali. They light up the, the houses on the roofs. They light up the Govardhan Parikama path. Radha Kund, Syama Kund, Govinda Kund will be illumined by rows and rows of light. Diwali derives from the Sanskrit word Dipavali or rows of lighted lamps. It signals a new beginning, uh, a victory over the forces of darkness. This is the day when Lord Ram came back to his town Ayodhya after uh, defeating the evil uh, Ravana. And uh, the people of Ayodhya wanted to light his way by putting uh, lamps everywhere so that he would see the town and of Ayodhya and find his way to each single home. <laughs> That's the idea of this festival of lights. It connects also with a very special quality of Shimati Radharani, Vidakta. She is expert in the arts. Radha is described to be a master of all arts of love. She is an authority in painting with minerals is skillful at cooking a variety of pleasing dishes on her own, with all things which you need to put a nice festival together, makes Krishna foolish in word battles and is master of stringing garlands. She also understands the language of the parrots and the parrot, male and female parrots, and defeats Krishna at dice. Mm, she has a sharp intelligence in music. This Vidakta nature is also a playful uh, nature mm, and a dexterous mm, expertness that manifests in various of Radha's pastimes. Mm, uh, once uh, uh, there was mm, Radharani turned uh, to one of her friends. Oh friend, my favorite pearl necklace has broken and now I must search for the scattered pearls. This is what Radha did when she broke her own pearl garland. Uh, what was in her mind? Well, she wanted to turn around uh, to pick up the broken mm, pearls or the pearls from the broken pearl a necklace and uh, by turning her head one more time around she glanced at Krishna in the presence of Jatila. Yes, Shimati Radharani is very, very Vidakta, uh, intelligent mm, in many arrangements. Uh, the intelligence which is engaged in things of the material world entangles us. Another intelligence is required to uplift us. This is the intelligence in bhakti. Uh, in the 11th canto we hear this process of bhakti is the supreme intelligence of the intelligent and the cleverness of the most clever. For by following it one can in this very life make use of the temporary and unreal to achieve me, the eternal reality. Yes, we, by using our temporary material bodies, which are only with us for a few days, uh, we can reach that which is eternal. It's almost as uh, like spending a worthless coin and getting a treasury of gold in return. <laughs> uh, this is uh, uh, cleverness. This is supreme intelligence. This is Vidakta. And in Shimati Radharani, this finds its origin, who is so intelligent 
to meet Krishna and to make all arrangements to please him. Again, let us briefly turn to Radha. Stay a little bit in the space. Be mindful of her. Perhaps say a prayer. And in this way, experience or soak in the atmosphere of her Kripa, her mercy. Hare Rama 